Hey guys, you join me here at Snowman 6 and we are back on Farming Simulator on Dunnulka. So as you can see guys, we didn't waste much time and we've straight away broken out the new case and new plow and we are flat out at it here guys. So our plan, we're just going to convert these two fields into one. Um, and as I see, we are working our new John Deere Ripper here on the back as well. And it's just doing a nice, nice job. So in other exciting news as well, guys, um, I have noticed that field 14 is up for auction. If I bring up our mini map here, you can see the orange there that is highlighting field 14. And that is up for auction. Now we have I think 14 hours left on it or something like that. So towards the end of the day we'll probably look at going over there and seeing what the highest bid is and throwing a bid on it. Now I think the current value of the field is, um, is around the 1.9 or 2 million mark. So if we can pick it up for 800,000 or something good like that um, I think we'd be fools not to do it. Now to do it we have to unfortunately leverage the farm so it will be a little bit expensive but I think in the long run it will work out best for us. Um, so we're looking at that option as well guys. Oh it's getting bumpy here where we've already done our test trips. That is rough. But um, the new case is working a treat for us and to be honest it's more power than we probably ever need. Um, so with that we're just as a hip we're gonna plow two fields and then we have the issue of stones but yeah I think we'll cross that bridge when we get to it uh, which will be probably in the new year so we'll see now what she pulls like going up the hill but uh, so far it's so good will we have to drop gear look at that she's not breaking stride much she's dropping a little bit Holding pretty steady around 17,000 revs. That is nice going. Gets a bit bumpy there again where we did our test plows, but um, yeah, we'll get over that. So well, it is nice to see we're able just to plant and plants, bust them up as we go. But this ripper is doing a great job for us guys. So. Um, the only downside to picking up this bit of land um, is it will probably limit our ability to expand our cattle operation in any way shape or form and as I think about this tractor probably doesn't suit any much in terms of grassland work and stuff like that um, so we'll have to see it's a risk to take we we'll have to approach the bank we're in conversations with them to see will we do it um, they're coming back to say that we probably can get out a sizable chunk of the loan um, but we'll be stuck with the repayments then of that guys so it's um, yeah it is interesting to say the least but uh, it will also give us a lot more ground to farm as well um, yeah there's, there's pros and cons for it like there is for everything I'm just going to flick ourselves here to the left again or right again we're going to turn in I think I've overshot myself there so the rocks are going to be a huge issue all right for us guys but we'll, we'll get that sorted can't wait till we plow some bigger fields it's going to be fun but for now we're just cruising down along here we're getting it done we won't complain but um, yeah, we'll be back and we'll make a decision and we have plenty of time as we plow this field so we will make the decision at some stage and we'll see do we end up getting field 14 which is just over there. Oh, not sure what happened there, we had a little loss of power. Interesting. We'll have to keep an eye on that guys. But for now we will get the drone out and we might do a little time lapse of us just finishing up plowing this field.
as we approach midday guys and um, we're just going to strike over to the field we purchased last year or this year even and we're just going to plow in the stubble from the sorghum so that's something that needs to be done and as i say the rock picking then is going to be out in full force so we're just making our way here down the road and the one thing i'm noticing guys is this tractor is huge it is taking up some amount of road so it's going to be interesting to see how we uh how we keep it going but uh, for now we're just going to get down here swing a right swing a left and we'll be in on our field so we're making progress it should be a lot quicker now that we have this beast and big plow on behind but as i say it does cause us other problems but um, for now we'll see how we get on full beans again going down the road and this is our turn here guys so we'll see how wide we are compared to the track oh we're not bad here so somebody's feel the cotton there to our left it's looking quite nice actually we'll see and we are approaching our field here. And now we have spread lime on this, which is good for us. So we're just going to get in, get unfolded. And we'll be good to go. Such a big implement. This is going to save us so much time. Can you imagine trying to do this plowing with um with uh, the um the little Ford? We'd be at it a while. So we're just going to drop into the ground here. Get our cruise control going. I think we want to be in 12th gear here. Give us enough pulling power. So there we go, guys. Raising a little bit of dust as well. So we've plenty of work ahead of us and um, we will get this field ripped up and as I say we will we're still seriously considering the uh, purchase of a new field I know you would think I'm crazy but um, I think it might be just worth doing that one and uh, it might increase our income going down the line as there is an old grain mill on there so we might look at uh, making use of that and maybe get a grain mill going and start uh, creating flour and stuff and that should see our income increase as well. So, but as you say to do it we've got to put the farm in huge debt and being our first year in full control of it, I don't know if we're 100% comfortable with doing that but um, yeah we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I think I probably will to be honest and we'll just have to work really 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 hard after that to pay everything back but yeah for now we're just going to crack on here guys as I say we've a good chunk of plowing to see through and that just see us through to the end of today and we'll see how we're going um, so I'm going to press on with this and we'll come back when we're more or less done this field and uh, we'll see where we stand We are back guys on for our last pass here now in the field, so all going well, we'll get this one done and we'll be out, and that is the plowing done for this season, uh, it's been a good test of this machine, she's quite e economical and she's quite powerful, so all in all I think it's been a good buy for us guys, and um, definitely recommend it. Especially considering the size of the fields that some that we do have. Um, now there is a little bit of plowing we might do at some stage and that's just around the grass pastures we put in. We might look at adding a extra bit to that but um, we're not under pressure. We'll see how we go uh, maybe next year with it and we might plow then. But for now guys, this is us. So we're coming into the slower time of season. I still haven't made my mind up on what we're going to do with that field. Um, I think we'll see what price it gets to. If it's kind of in around the seven, eight hundred thousand mark, we might jump on it. Um, it 
does mean looking at a loan of around half a million which is quite extensive but hopefully we'll pay a good chunk of it off when we sell a lot of our crops and that will also enable us to hopefully plant every field we have and will also enable us to maybe start a small dairy or a small cattle operation it might be as big as what we were originally going to plan we might start off with maybe 10 animals and we'll see how that plays out for us guys so we're nearly nearly at the end of the field here in fact we are coming up pretty quick on it and there we go guys so we're just going to lift it up and we're going to fold away nice machine it's got a little bit of dirt on it from our extensive use but that's to be expected so once we get it folded up guys we're just going to um, strike on back here and hopefully get out and head back to the farm and we'll see where it takes us next guys So we're just back at the farm guys and as um, you may notice the lighting is a little bit different to what we're used to. We'll just drop a few gears here and get our big beast up into the yard. Um, so we are running the Relight mod um, which must be installed into the map manually but uh, I must say it, wow, wow wow wow, it really makes the colours kind of pop I think and there's a bit of a better shade and stuff gonna quickly jump out and have a little look around you can see the lighting of the tractor is way way different oh we left our beacon light on rookie mistake we'll jump out again and uh, yeah you can see if we just stand up over the crest of the hill here the sun is much more uh, in fact, where is the sun it's over here is it so you see it going down we get a nice kind of yellow tint off it in the evening and uh, yeah, I think that's going to add a lot to our gameplay as we go as well on this guy. So just a little update. We are running that mod. And um, we're going to quickly shoot over to field 14 and see what price everything is at. So we're back here guys in uh, kind of mid-December. Um, we've had a bit of snow that's cleared up. Um, thankfully we've managed to get rid of 90% of our crops. If we bring up the crop storage, you can see we held on to a little bit of wheat. Um, that'll be handy for the chickens. Sorghum, um, there's only 4,000 litres left. We'll sell that ourselves at some point. And we still have uh, our harvest of soybeans as well, guys. So with that said, um, if we quickly flick here to the map, you can see that uh, field 14 now, the price of it has gone up over a million, guys. And I just don't think I can justify taking out big loan that we would need to do to buy the field um just don't know is it worthwhile so with that being said what we're going to do is not put a bid on the field and that will enable us to keep developing the farm that we were planning on doing so we won't be deviating from that we have a load of eggs here i just realized to go so that's handy actually we've got two loads of eggs to go so the chickens have been quite productive how are they for food let me just double check your chickens uh we're still okay on food we have oh my god we have some of the chickens um so we have 40 so at some stage we're probably going to have to sell some of our chickens roosters 10 months old these are only two months old these are eight months these are eight months six months 16 months so these are probably the oldest chickens we have yep and these two batches have just been bred now so does it show me i think i have to turn back on the hood for this guys so we're just going to quickly boop hood back on um we have 281 chickens so i think we can hold up to 360 so we might as well max it out before we start making space for new ones coming in um so our chickens are starting to get into full swing which is great to see Hopefully when we fire up the cattle side of the operation, that will probably do something similar to us. So our beautiful little case sitting there. It's not little by any stretch of imagination, but it's a beautiful case anyway. Um, so with that done, guys, it's been a bit of a hit and miss episode. We've been doing lots of different pieces and bits and pieces. A bit of plowing, 
and we've managed to get rid of some of our crops and we've torn ourselves about what we're going to do with field 14 but we're going to not put a bid in so that is the plan going forward as you see this has probably been a little bit of a shorter episode again guys but winter will do that while we don't have any animals to play with um, with that being said we'll just quickly have one look at the used equipment in the shop and ooh, look at this New Holland T8. Could we? Should we? Comes with crawler track twin wheels, rear twins. No option for narrow tires. That could be an issue for us. Um, if we can find an option with kind of twin narrows, we probably could purchase this, guys. This could happen. I don't think we're going to get it, though. Which is a bit of a shame continent i don't think they'll have it no not meant to be not meant to be that would have been an ideal tractor for us for our grass work we could have went to and got butterfly moors and really stepped up at the pace of operation but just not meant to happen guys so that's unlucky missed out on the ta we didn't miss out that we're just not going to do it um, but we will need to pick up a set of mowers here in a couple of months because the grass should be ready all going well. Um, let me see, where is my grass down here? And if we go to, nope, here. And like a fool, I didn't turn grass on, so we'll turn grass on. I know the map probably take two hours to load. There it is. So actually our grass is already ready to harvest, guys. So that's interesting. We're into December. I don't think we can harvest grass in December. I didn't think we could anyway. Um, oh, you can. Hmm. I don't think we will because the temperature isn't that great. Um, so we might wait till February, maybe. March, as I say. And we'll do our first cut on the grass um that would be the plan in my little head there anyway guys so um with that being said i think we will call it here guys work has progressed nicely on the farm um have plowed a few fields and things are just moving along nicely so until next time guys it'll probably be sometime february ish by the time we jump back in here and we'll see what progress we have made so guys, as always, I've been Stormy86, this has been Danulka, and until next time guys, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you all again. Take care.